Hey, hey you, yes you, see all these wonderful people right here? They are my Patreons. With the support I get from them, I can afford to do my passion as a career and bring you guys weekly videos. Want to join them? For just $1 a month, you can get videos 24 hours before anyone else. And for even higher tiers, you can get Polaroids, letters, and mystery boxes from me to you. And even fursuit parts, not to mention my eternal thanks. So what are you waiting for? Become a Patreon today via the link in the description. Thanks again, enjoy the video. G'day everyone and welcome back to This Week in the Workshop where I tell you about what has been going on in my workshop so you know you guys might be able to learn a few things. Anyway this week what a big week it has been well past two weeks. This week I finished off Skelly the Dracubus. You guys may have seen the video. That was a really fun project to work on and I'm so glad she's finally done. I was really happy with how Skelly turned out. I think I could have gotten probably like, the digi wasn't quite the right shape that I wanted, but I'm kind of working towards a new digi shape for my suits. So hopefully that will fix itself up and look good. It still looked good anyway, but you know, I reckon I can do better next time. Um, I'm really happy. I tried out a new um, eye style and I really like how it turned out. So that's really exciting. And I'm going to be making this next character with it as well. So keep an eye out for that. All right, let's move on to the question of the week. The question of the week comes from Working Wolf. Hey, I'm a trans guy who hasn't had top surgery yet, looking to make a bodysuit. What do you recommend for making it so that it doesn't accentuate my chest? Um, that's actually a really, really good question. I really like that question a lot, which is why I picked it. Um, it depends on the size of your breasts at the moment. If you use long fur for the entirety of the chest, um, it tends to hide most of it. Like, this is me in Pasito, and he is a male character. I don't look like a chick in this suit. And that's because my maker actually added shoulder pads to kind of broaden my chest and the long fur on the front kind of automatically smooths it all out anyway. If you're really worried about um, your chest showing, what I would personally recommend is either, so when you do your, either when you do your DTD, putting on a really light binder um, or even just putting on a binder because then you could arguably use your fursuit to bind. I'm not really well versed in safe binding techniques, but um, what I would recommend doing is wearing a slight binder. So maybe like a sports bra or something that kind of compresses your chest, but not so much that it restricts your breathing. And then when you actually have the DTD padding out, so putting foam um, onto the DTD before you tape it up to get the pattern to um, smooth, out, smooth it out. So you kind of look like you have a bigger chest, like almost like pecs. And then add, if you add some shoulder padding, that will also accentuate the male kind of look of the character. Um, but that's a really interesting question. Thank you for asking it. I hope that I was able to shed some light. Um, yeah, good luck. Um, I started on a very exciting commission. This character is called Squid. I just made this wonderful um, aquatic tail, which I'm really excited to finish up. It is an absolutely beautiful. Um, with this tail, I really, really liked how it turned out. I'm getting better at doing fins and feathers and stuff. That was always something I struggled with a bit. I also did squids hand paws, hand pauses with webbed fingers, which was fun. Not, I, it was a lot of work to get those little webbings in. I basically just sewed one side into the fingers and then when I turned them inside out, manually hand stitched it to the other finger, if that makes any sense whatsoever. Um, and I'm really happy with that. I also started on squid's head. Squid's head is coming along pretty nicely. Um, I'm waiting on the eye print for those, so that should be good. And now we're on to the hate comment of the week. Ba ba ba. This one is from Senpai Animates. You're human, dumb fuck. Well, for one thing, a capital U for your, and an apostrophe. At least you use the correct, the correct um, form of your, so that's always nice. A comma after human. And you know, you can technically just say dumb fuck without saying you're a dumb fuck, so I'll, I'll pass that, but you need a full stop at the end of your sentence for one. Um, so I'm gonna reword that and say, um, you're a dumb fuck, human. I haven't really been up to much else. I've been um, redoing a, I reworked my work schedule. So now I start at 6 a.m. I work from 6 a.m. till two, so that's my eight hour shift. It's basically nine to five, but shifted way earlier in the morning. Um, this is so that if I really need to get stuff done, I can get more done in the afternoons. Um, if I need to put in those extra three, four hours, um, especially leading up to Ferdu. After I finish Squid, it's basically face down into pre-made work. As soon as I get Kevin back, which I'm picking him up today, he will be printing off table stock pretty much nonstop. So that'll be that. 
Getting up nice and early, I get up, I have breakfast, a little bit of exercise, and then I go straight to work. It means I get to break at around 10.30 in the morning, and I get to finish it too, which is always great, because it means I have the rest of the day to chill out and recharge, even though I'm pretty buggered by the end of it. But hey, over this week, I have been really bad at procrastination. Like, I've been procrastinating so badly, I just haven't been able to focus, which is why I finished early today, because I cut out an entire set of feet paws and didn't even look at the um, sizing of the customer. So that kind of sucked, because um, I got to recut all that. But you know what? That's tomorrow's job. That's not today's job. So, you know, live and learn. Okay, and now we are on to the comment of the week. This one is from Fatal Error. You kind of sound like LDS Shadow Lady. I don't fucking understand. I get so many of these comments. I've watched some of her videos. She's like a kawaii Minecraft YouTuber, which is really weird. And we sound nothing alike. <laughs> like, I literally got Balto to listen. And he was like, no, you don't sound anything. You don't sound remotely similar. So I don't know what you lot are on about. I don't sound anything like her. I'm too Aussie for that. <laughs> She's American, I'm fairly certain too. Maybe I just need to put on my Aussie accent a little bit harder for you lot. Is that all right? Is that better? Do I sound less like her now? Is this better? <laughs> but uh, I disagree wholeheartedly, but that's okay. All right, and I think that is it for this week in the workshop. I hope you guys enjoy this little quick video and I will see you next time.